Hi. Now in this example, what we've got to do is find the remainder when the polynomial x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 3 is divided by x plus 1. And to do something like this, rather than do algebraic long division, uh, we could use the remainder theorem, what we've got up here. And that is if a polynomial f of x is divided by ax minus b, then the remainder is given by f of b over a. Now clearly in this one, the a value is going to be a 1, and the b value is going to be negative 1. Be careful here because it's minus minus 1, which will give us that plus 1. So what we've got is that a then is 1 and b is minus 1. So we've got to work out f of negative 1. All right. Another way you can work out what this is going to be is just by simply putting x plus 1 equal to 0. And if you do that, x plus 1 equals 0, you get that x is minus 1. So you need to substitute minus 1 for any value of x in here to get that remainder by the remainder theorem. So let's get started. Well, if I was given this question, what I'd want to do first of all is to define f of x. So I'm going to say let f of x be identical then to the polynomial up here. x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 3. So therefore, by the remainder theorem, that remainder is going to be worked out by doing f of negative 1. And f of negative 1, if we just substitute that for any value of x, we're going to have minus 1 cubed, minus 4 times minus 1 squared, plus 2 times minus 1, minus 3. And what's that going to come out to? Well, we've got negative 1 here. We've got minus 4, minus 2, and minus 3, which is minus 10. So the remainder is minus 10. Now, if you had have done it by algebraic long division, just for the record, I've done it here for you. You can see it would be quite involved. You can check it out if you like. But there's your remainder, minus 10. So I think you'll find this way is a lot quicker and easier. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this particular example.